Sagittarius, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for the week of January 15th through the 21st. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy, what you may not see coming, and get some important advice from Spirit. Let's jump right in. Thank you for tuning in and sharing this space with me today. It is a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for the Sagittarius Collective. It's a wonderful week to be alive, isn't it, Sag? I'm going to go into some of your pre-shuffled oracle messages, but first, let's throw these tarot cards down and see what's happening for you this week. <clears throat> Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all the love. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Five of Cups. Bringing love to a situation. Ace of Swords. I feel like you're still investing in something. Moving past the disappointments. Right? Something made you sad but you're still holding a torch for it. You're seeing, seeing more of a truth in this situation. Reassessing in the near future, Seven of Pentacles. A little bit of love here. Page of Cups, let's put a little bit of love. Let us let go of the recent past. All right, let's, let's move past the hurt. All right, this is a, the, we're climbing a mountain, right? This is a, a marathon, not a sprint when it comes to this connection. There's love here, there's a lot of love here. And a willingness to love, right? You definitely are reevaluating a connection in your life. Mm, but it's hard. There's been a lot of hardships. It's about dropping our heavy burden. Whatever that is is burdening you. It's time to drop it, Sag. Ooh, three of cups, your opportunity. Let's celebrate. It's time to celebrate, all right? Some of you, this has to do with coming together with your friends and just enjoying your life, okay? Yeah, I actually feel like most of you, let's just let's just enjoy the week, right? Let's enjoy this week. Queen of Pentacles, your challenge. Something around your stability is challenging you. Or you're trying to come back into balance within self. We'll see what that's about. What you don't see coming. Ace of Wands, new growth. Yeah. Sometimes these disappointments happen and it, and it does provide the, the fodder, right? For new opportunities, new growth, a new way of being in relationship with others. Especially in our heart space. It's like you, you had a choice in the recent past to open your heart despite some losses, right? And to see the truth that, you know, life is a continuation. It's a forward momentum, right? To try to let go of what needs to be released, right? And move forward. That clarity of vision that Archangel Michael offers us, right? Your oracle messages. These are two different decks by the same creator. I thought I'd get a little fun this week with uh, sharing her energy. Um, I do believe, I wanna say she's Australian, Anna Stark, great cards, uh, sacred spirit reading cards, and sacred power reading cards. This first one is about balancing out your energy. Take a look at these and see which mandala of the chakra really, really speaks to you, okay? You are a healer at heart. Do you know that, Sag? You are. Spirit wants you to know that you're a healer at heart. And now is the time to heal yourself, okay? Which color stands out, all right? This is the area that you're going to need to target to achieve balance this week. So if you are really trying to come into the divine collective consciousness, that's the highest chakra, your third eye opening, that's the second chakra, the purple, the blue, you need to open up and speak your truth more. Blue, green is your heart space, keeping that heart wide open. Yellow is your personal empowerment. Orange is your sacral chakra, your passion, your fire, and your rootedness and your stability and groundedness. So whatever speaks to you, that's what needs to be healed, okay, this week. That's where you need to focus, all right, where you need to um, realign, okay, that flow of universal energy. It's about revitalizing your spirit this week. So really hone in on balancing out your energy. Some of you are going to be drawn to energy work, body work, or you're doing a lot more of that recently, and it's opening up, right, somatic trauma, somatic things that we hold in our bodies can be released right through these pathways so so we can spin those wheels brighter stronger and um, become more vibrant in all the spheres okay you are and i think the reason why you're clearing this energy is so you can light your own path better okay you have dear medicine this week which is such a gentle gentle offering right the sensitivity you, you're becoming more sensitive in your light body Okay, and this is this allows you to bring more gifts in, right? Spiritual gifts, divine gifts, right? To helping other people as a healer, okay? 
bouncing out all the chakras. Some of you are bouncing all of them out, but there's one in particular that you're really working through this week, okay? So listen to yourself and trust your senses, right, through this card. Connect strongly to your base instincts. You're lighting your own path, okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. I love this. It feels like you're just, you're trying to regroup this week. It feels that way after something that got a little hard. And it could be just the spiritual work you're going through, the body purification, right? The energy balancing that you're going through. It's a journey when we go into our bodies. I will say, as a healer myself, I really can relate to this. Um, we, we need to constantly be doing the work ourselves, not just helping others do the work, right? All right, what's this Ten of Wands? Ten of Wands. Oh, he's carrying a heavy load. You've maybe taken on too much lately. Maybe too much healing work. Ooh, I see it's an emotional feeling. Um, there was something that was disappointing in your recent past. Definitely. A lot of people are getting the four cups today um, for this week. Uh, maybe something happened over the holiday period that was just, it was disappointing. It could have been with someone who you have um, some sort of stable commitment with, King of Pentacles. And there's a lot of strength that you find in your sense of self and your groundedness and your stability in your life. I mean, King of Pentacles is a very grounded energy. This is also about you being strong through tr more of a, a time of caring a lot in your life. It could be as simple as you're taking on so much work. You're trying to maximize your, your wealth, right? Make more money, earn more. And you're digging deep. And it's it doesn't it's hard though. It's hard sometimes to to give so much of yourself. So make sure you give back, right? Give back to yourself. As much as you give to others, give back. I'm getting that strong, strong message. Okay? You're gonna feel stronger the more you give to yourself, okay? I'm telling you, and that's just a little, it can be the simplest things. You know, this morning I actually took time. I'm a writer and I wrote um, like a little poem. I actually wrote a little love poem and I haven't written one in months. And it fed my soul. It, it really was healing for me to get those words out. So do things that nourish you this week. Um, it could have a lot to do with the chakra itself. You're going to feel called to go inward in that. I, I am, I, I'm actually... Uh, I'm feeling that whatever it was, mine was like a combination between the throat and the heart. So it could be a combo. That's why I'm pointing that out. It doesn't have to be one, okay? They want me to clarify that. You're releasing, you're releasing some recent disappointments, but you're coming back into a stable place within self. And you, you, you're resilient. Now, this much is true, Sag. You are a very resilient individual. You, you really look, I love that glamour shot, right? It's like so majestic. There's something so majestic about your energy. You're very, very grounded in yourself, even when you're carrying a heavy disappointment. Mm. Wow. All right, what's this Three of Cups? Leaning on your friendships, perhaps? Ooh, Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. I didn't expect that. Your opportunity, right, is to celebrate. I think you're starting to, yeah, the three is also a unification, right? Body, mind, spirit. I think that you had some fears about really being generous with self. This is about, this is a very self-directed reading today. You're being called to really be generous with yourself this week. And to do the work to remove any of the blocks that celebrate you, right? Whatever self-criticism, whatever fears that come up, whatever has come up in the recent past, your opportunity this week is to unify, like re reintegrate these parts of yourself that maybe you've been giving away to other people. And it doesn't mean in a connection, anything negative. It's just, I think that you do so much work, beautiful, beautiful soul work in the world that spirit is saying, don't be afraid to really go inward and give yourself that same type of energy that you give out to others in your work. A lot of you work very hard and now's the time to be generous with self and, and enjoying self, enjoying your life, having fun, okay? This is about work, 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 work. No, spirit's like, lighten it up. Have fun this week. Do something fun, okay? Whatever fun is, like my, my, my daughter got invited to a party and it was, you can do it adults too, but you, it's archery with like felt tips. It's like, Whatever is the fun. I mean, even if fun for you is 
anything, anything you find fun. Okay. It could be anything. Go do it. I'm going to challenge you. Go do something fun this week. Okay. Cause you've been working so hard that you, you need to, um, take pleasure, right? Take delight for pleasure's sake, right? Delight in having fun because you, you're working a lot. And I, th I know it's because you're trying to have more money, bring more money. And you could be in a connection where you both are working really hard. Where do they want this? Over the page of cups. Near future. Wow. Wow. Two, oh, yeah. Oh, let's clarify the challenge because it's the same as this near future. I love the double messages. So spirit just hits me over the head with it. Yeah, you are moving forward and you've really cleared up some communication. I think you're communicating more deeply with yourself. Um, in your own stability, you're moving forward at a very fast, fast clip. Your challenge is to focus on your own stability. Look at that. She's, we've got two queen of pentacles. That's you. You're showing up as the queen of pentacles, right? Grounded in the here and now being present, right? Taking a pause. Your challenge is to pause this week. Take those inner guidances, right? You're going to be communicating with spirit, right? Letting your, the light lead the way, right? Lighting your own path. And you could, you could actually be, uh, it's funny that I mentioned archery, <laughs> Yeah, because you, and there's there's arrows here. Look at that. You could be opening up into a brand new love opportunity. You've been disappointed in the past. I mean, we've got quite a few aces and pages on the board. So while you're working, all right, doing your thing, all right, collecting your coin, you, you could be opening up into a new love opportunity. And uh, someone could be coming forward, someone who wants to collaborate with you. Some of you are working with new people in a team environment. And it's really bringing a lot more income. For you to, to have help this this whole reading is, is is suggesting take help what help is offered all right you don't have to do it alone all right and that that's the assistance from spirit too right this is spiritual assistance as well it's not just physical it's non-physical okay you've got positive new beginning here after some disappointment I think you have a positive new opportunity to bring a lot more love into a situation, new love, whether it's an old flame, someone you've been with or someone brand new, you're, you're really coming together with someone. This is beautiful energy. Like you're making a choice in love too this week where in the near future, you're going to be really coming together in a team environment and really grounding it, this King queen. We have a match here and it's, there's so much strength here. It's, it's like we're, we go through the hardships, Jenna. But we know how to do the work to clean it up. And we know how to remove the blocks and the fears and the limiting beliefs that get in the way of this love. Wow. And you know how to communicate and move past, right? You know how to pause where pause is needed. I'm seeing a very, very healthy connection here, whether it's new or old. Very healthy. Very, very, very strong, stable, healthy connection. Wow, Sag. Mm, beautiful. Beautiful week. I'm going to go to what you don't see coming, this new growth. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. A lot of you were really growing in your own sense of empowerment. So much momentum, right, towards your own. Wow. This is you coming into balance with your own power through a lot of new growth. What you don't see coming is you were, take, you were growing so fast in your, in, in your money. You're, gonna, you're building your own empire. You don't need anybody for this, Sag. This is what you don't see coming. This is your own empire. You have love beside you. But you're creating your own empire. And you're letting your soul lead the way. It's just, I think that you're putting so much work into maybe a new project or your career that make sure you take enough time out and pause so you can enjoy the fruits of your labor and to share it with those that you love. There's so much generosity. You may even be in a position in the near future where you can help friends. Even if it's like, I'm going to give you my couch. You know what I mean? I'm going to buy you dinner. Like you, you are so filled up and replenished by giving to others. Just make sure you do the same for yourself. So do those generous things to self, whether that's go get a, a massage or, you know, whatever, or, or buy yourself that little thing, right? A little trinket all my jewelry is symbolic of, of my own healing and my own growth. And, and it's not real expensive. Sometimes it is and some, not real expensive, but we'll say under a hundred dollars. So little things that remind you, right? 
of your own and your own financial independence right your own wealth you you are reaching emperor status you are moving forward in this new growth this is unbelievable sag you do you you've got it going on <laughs> sag has got it going on you got it going on it's like you're like whatever hardships that come my way i'm letting my soul lead the way and i am going to balance out what needs to be balanced out i know how to let go i know how to surrender i know how to heal i know how to be open I know how to be strong. I know how to create prosperity. Prosperity of mind, body, and spirit. Eight of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Swords, Page of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you are sussing out an energy. There's a lot of love here. I think that you have someone madly in love with you. That you are letting go of maybe some past hurt. Like, uh, you're in a healing love. You're in a love that is healing you, healing you as you move forward on this new mountain that you're climbing together. And you're bringing the love every day. The page of cups. It's like you all nurture each other. It's like you have someone who's nurturing you in a very, very divine, beautiful, heart-led way. I do believe you have someone who, who wants to love you deeply, Sag. And you might be a little guarded. You might be the one who's a little bit... Mm, but man, they love you. They do. And for those of you who are opening up to new love, this is going to deepen so beautifully in time. Wow. Wow. I don't know if I even need to clarify beyond this, but I'm gonna. Let's do one more. Yeah, you're, you're sitting back. Look at that. He's like, look at this beautiful tree that I cultivated. He pruned it. He, he knows where to pluck. You know, he knows where to extract what he needs to. It's like you're extracting love. The love day by day that sustains a connection. There's something so beautifully sweet about this energy around you. It's very touching. It's like they, they want to see you prosper. They want to see you succeed. Mm. Sag, you're in a very good place. What? Yeah. It's, yeah, that's why. I think that you're realizing that all the hurts that you felt that led to this. I do believe you have a union in your life that's coming towards you if it's new. That is beautifully healing. And it's something to celebrate. <clears throat> Some of you are either getting back together with someone in a do, new deep way, it doesn't mean you, you parted or anything. It's just like, this is a soul, a past life soulmate. And it's almost like all the hurts that you learn from, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, this near future, it's almost like you're like looking back and going, I succeeded over this pain. I grew from this pain. I learned from this pain. I'm now in balance. And now it's time for me to step up into the light and shine my light. This is shining your light, letting your light lead away, being in balance, right? Energetically in all the chakras, letting someone love you, letting love in, letting love guide you, stabilizing in the here and now, seeing the truth that life is love. You are really, really, really coming together in love with another and it's a choice and you guys are choosing it day by day by day, overcoming an ending in your life and coming back into balance. I do believe that you've, you've walked away from something that was hard in your life so you could welcome in something new. A lot of you are letting new love in and it feels right and it feels good. And others of you are letting a new level of love in that is profound and deep. Something is coming back into beautiful balance this week in a connection so much growth it's like the communication's been cleaned up you both have softened to one another if this is an existing connection where there were some trust issues you both are now doing the work and you're softening you're softening and you're letting go of the disappointment you're letting love lead the way because you see the truth that there is love here but let's not let's not act out of ego because it doesn't get us anywhere except towards imbalance and hurt you're learning and you're growing. Yeah. Wow. 
You have a new vision of your future. You're being divinely guided. And there is so much strength here, Sag. You have a new golden opportunity. This is faded. You're in a faded connection. The divinely guided faded connection. It's 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 like you were coming back into true balance within yourself. And you are you are now feeling like the star that you are. Like there's so much light around you, around this connection. It's like this is like sanctioned. This person in you, it's sanctioned by spirit. It you had to work really hard to get to this point in your life. And and now you know what love means and what it means to love. That it's not ever gonna be perfect, but it's 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 not the things that happen to us, it's how we respond to them. And I do believe that you're dealing with an energy where you're responding to each other and you're growing and you're learning. And you know that time will prove this commitment, this new, new person. This person, it, I don't think it's been a long, long time. Although King of Pentacles is a, is a very stable energy, I feel like a lot of you, this is not a long, it could be a long time that you've been with this person. Some of you may be, but... Ultimately, there's so much empowerment here because you know that no matter what comes your way in this connection, you're going to overcome it. You're going to learn from anything painful, anything that, that it's like you know how to come back into balance whenever you have an issue with this person. And that's the beauty of it, right? You're like, I trust this person. Not only do they have my back, but no matter what, what storms we kick up, we will communicate properly and we will heal from them and we'll stabilize and it will only serve my growth and it will only teach me to go deeper inside myself. You are healing through love and commitment. And this is a golden opportunity you've been waiting for with this person. I think you've been waiting for that right person that you will that will stick with you, that will do the work with you, that will heal with you. Beautiful, beautiful. Love this energy, Sag. Have a good week.